Hi, I'm John Griebel, Senior Regional Sales Manager for Spartan ERV. We're at the Voorhees Fire District in Voorhees Township, New Jersey, reviewing their rescue engine, Squad 66. Everything's riding on a Spartan cabin chassis. Some of the quick features of the cab itself is the 10 inch raised roof, additional headroom, better crew exit ability from the rear doors, specialized lighting around the vehicle from a very unique light bar with its pattern in different colors, very noticeable. Also, there's a lot of customizable front features here and they've got a couple of them that were nicely done. One, they've got a pre-connect front inlet, 25 feet, allows them to quickly access a hydrant and, and get rolling. Also, they've got a recessed front bumper discharge that accommodates some forestry hose with a pre-connected nozzle. There's approximately 150 feet within that. Now keep in mind, this is all customizable. It can be made to fit the need of any situation. Also, they had the severe service front bumper. Taking into account severe service around the community and, and impact resistance keeps the truck more attuned to staying in service in the event of an unlikely incident. They've got the Evolution front, there's also the option for the classic look for those that like to keep more of the traditional Spartan front fascia. The lighting on top, we've talked about the warning light system, but they also have 120 volt LED lighting. LED has come a long way in the past few years and has become very intense and very desirable. As we walk around to the side of the vehicle, let's take a quick look at how we enter and exit. Spartan is very well known for very, very wide door openings. The entry and then also the exit is very well designed for very nice entry, safe, and on the exit, once again, very easy with the wide step assemblies. Let's take a quick look at a couple of the nice features that they do have while we're up inside. They've done a multiplex design of their apparatus which means they have a nice computer graphic screen that controls all the functions of the vehicle from the warning lights to the exterior scene lights to the diagnostics of the vehicle. And you can notice it does show us the doors that are open on the vehicle, nicely done. Also, taking into account the severe service portion of the vehicle, they opted for the metalized interior. So the surfaces that are typically ABS material, they went with metal material, which provides them impact resistance, and obviously a durable, long-lasting interior. A couple of other safety features in this particular vehicle, one being the helmet restraints. NFPA requires that helmets be stored in transit and not worn, thus preventing potential neck injuries as the truck transverses up and down. For additional added safety, they've placed rear view mirrors ahead of the crew entry doors that allows the crew personnel to look backward for oncoming traffic before they exit. Another nice feature of this Spartan LFD cab is the extended full height compartments. Notice full depth, allowing for a backboard, long handle tools, or miscellaneous shelves and trays could be added for separation of smaller equipment. Once again, added value because of additional space that could be added within the cabin chassis. Looking at the pump operator's panel, we have some unique features that we can do at Spartan ERV. We can work with the fire department, work with the fire committee, and design a panel that meets their needs exactly. We can match present apparatus, we can look at organization, and if you look at the panel, they've done a very nice job of staging the gauges, the pole handles, and consolidating essential functions. In a few other additional features of the pump operator's panel are the backlit gauges, making nighttime operation very visible, easy to see, very clear in operation. Also our consolidated pump governor system, combination water foam tank gauges, and engine operations are clearly seen in digital bright readouts. Once again, using that backlit gauges, we did it with a master control. Also, many of the valves on the truck are electrically controlled through Akron controllers. Valves on the truck could be Akron, Hale, Watchers, your choice. Once again, that customization to meet the needs of the fire department and what they might desire. Also, they've got a couple of other nice functions of the vehicle. Keep in mind, safety being paramount in lieu of a standard deck gun operation where the operator would have to climb and monitor and operate from up on top, he can actually do it from the ground. He's got an electric deck gun operation that gives him full range of motion. 
Once again, going into the automatic mode, it, it's rising. Once it's in the elevated position, we can go 360 degrees around the vehicle and do many, many functions from the ground, thus keeping boots to the ground, safety in mind. No climbing necessary. Also for maintenance, they've got the flip down gauge panel, which allows them to maintain and take care of the, the gauges and additional electronics quickly, very accessible, very clean installation. Control of their scene light system from the pump panel around, so nighttime operation for lighting needs. The 2,000 gallon per minute fire pump is also supplemented with an Akron foam inductor system. As part of the system, we have an integral 50 gallon foam cell in addition to the 750 gallon water tank. Keep in mind, the water tank, the foam cell, the foam system, a lot of what you see on the pump operator's panel is very customizable to unique situations within each fire district. This is our Star Series Rescue Body. Keep in mind, equipment payload being very important, working with the fire committee, the fire department, we look at the equipment to be carried, and the placement around the vehicle becomes important of how it's exited, how it's stored, how it's carried on the vehicle. So if you look, the full depth, full height compartmentation had allowed us to put in a lot of deep shelves, deep trays to accommodate multiple items. Having full depth compartmentation allows us to have full depth slide trays and shelving, which allows 25 feet of soft suction. In this case, they've got a portable winch, which they use in their winch receivers around the vehicle. Nozzle storage above, pump operators, fittings and adapters, nozzles, gear bags, a variety of different options because the compartmentation is so useful being full height and full depth. Also within the pump operator's compartment is a frequency meter for visual operation of the 10K hydraulic generator, the breaker box that controlled the 120 volt features of the vehicle. Also dropping down, looking at the uniqueness of this compartment, there's a couple of different slide trays that are very worth mentioning. The lower tray is our heavy duty 600 pound capacity tray. The middle tray is kind of unique. It's made for convenience, easy for the operations pump operator to come in and grab it. It's on a hydraulic cylinder, which allows it to glide out. Once he has the device he needs, let's say his hands are full at that point, he could just push it right back in and it glides right back in. And he could take the appliance and hook it to the particular discharge that's needed at. Kind of nice feature. The apparatus body is also equipped with Unistrut tracking, which allows for infinite adjustability from a quarter inch to six to seven inches. Once again, depend upon the item being carried on that shelf or tray. Another very nice feature of this particular apparatus is the LED lighting. Full height provides for complete illumination of the compartments. So if you've noticed, nice even illumination, not only above the shelf or tray, but also under. So that way it makes it very easy in nighttime operations to find that piece of equipment, to get it, and to move away from the truck quickly. Another nice feature in this compartment is the out and down slide tray. As it comes down, it allows items in the back of the tray to easily be assessed and walk away from the vehicle. Also, you can put it back very cleanly, and when you're done, just go ahead, put it back away. On every Spartan ERV body is the recessed door opening. What this does is it allows the door to seat below the floor, which helps prevent moisture and dirt from entering the compartmentation. We'd like to have a clean, moisture-free environment for the equipment being stored. Another unique Spartan ERV innovation is how we treat the wheel well area. Looking at this particular section of the vehicle, there's a lot of space that can be utilized for additional equipment storage. Each module is bolted, can be uniquely designed for the specific item to be carried. In this case, we're carrying their SCBA cylinders. Now cylinders come in different sizes, which means in the future, if they went to a different brand, maybe a larger cylinder, they could actually unbolt this, remove it, and put in the next one. This can be for unique installation of toolboxes, flares, and a lot of different items. In the wheel well area to the rear, this is typically where the fuel fill is, very difficult to place equipment in this area, so we found a way to build in a speedy dry hopper which contains about 40 pounds of absorbent material. So taking advantage of this area, we've managed to show you several different ways to store smaller equipment, easier to store, keep it out of the larger areas.
Once again, utilizing that typically wasted area in the wheel well for better storage of equipment. Moving to the left rear apparatus body compartment. Keeping with the theme, full depth, full height, they've done a really nice job of organization. So using the fact that we can customize the shelves, the trays, the dividers, they've sectionalized their compartment, cribbing on the bottom on a slide out tray. Once again, pulling the tray out to get full access side to side and from the front. They've got toolboxes mounted on an adjustable tray, which they can take up and down to close the gap and better utilization of space. And once again, using the top shelf for additional boxes and trays. Looking on the back wall, they've got their piercing nozzle custom mounted to the back wall using pack track and pack track tool mounts. The tool mounts are lifetime warranted. What's nice, it allows multi-use of those surfaces, different heights, different positions. Utilizing a vertical divider, it allows them to sectionalize the compartmentation, allowing shelves, trays, smaller equipment to be placed on those devices, and allowing the back half of the compartment to have tall devices, such as a portable ladder, the jacks, or other tall equipment. Once again, keeping with that theme of change, they can alter this equipment at any point in time for future change, future additions. Moving to the lower part of this compartment, all four sides of the vehicle are provided with a two inch receptacle, which allows for portable items such as this winch to be quickly placed into the receiver tube on all four corners of the vehicle. We can do life safety items off those corners also. Once again, an extreme nice benefit for this type of operations. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, I do want to point out some of the safety features of the back of the truck. Number one, the chevron pattern, reflectivity being noticed at night. The backup camera, which projects images behind the truck on screens at the dashboard, safe backing. The arrow stick to provide direction to oncoming traffic, to which side they may go to, or warn that there is a situation approaching. And the safety resistant slip surfaces on the rear step. Once again, allowing for a very good grip as you move up to grab certain items in the hose bed or bring the ladders or pipe poles down from the hose bed area. Moving on, looking at some of the features within the compartmentation, we open up the center rear compartment. Once again, a very good use of additional space at the rear in amongst the frame rails. They put in some of their electrical items. They've got their smoke ejector fan. They've taken their electric cord reel and they've mounted it up into an area of, of least used space, a great placement of that particular device. And also, they've got a unique feature which allows for the cable reel to be pulled out, the cable itself, which allows for the cable to come out, go to the left, go to the right, or straight out, and it prevents fraying and wear and tear on the cable itself. Very nice feature to get that away from the reel, better utilization of the cable itself. When we go to put away the cable, simply hit the electric rewind button. Puts it safely back into the truck, ready for next use. They've taken their ladders and a little bit of unique storage ideas here. Keep in mind, this is a rescue style body where we've got rescue deep compartmentation on both sides. They put the ladders through the water tank, thus allowing them to have equipment on both sides and still keeping the ladders down safely low. Shoulder height, easy to take out, easy to put back in. Looking at the labeling of this particular compartment, they've easily identified what's in the compartment, the 24-foot ground ladder, the 14-foot roof ladder. Above it, they've got another storage compartment for long-handled tool items. In this case, they've got their folding ladder and they've got their backboard, another unique idea to keep it very usable in a, a very unique space. And then they've got their pipe poles and long-handled equipment. So once again, keeping everything very accessible in great locations for access utilizing every inch of compartment space on the vehicle. Let's talk about their hose bed. They've done a couple of unique things up here. One, they've color coded their attack lines for coordination of the hose itself to the operator's pump panel to the control valve operating that particular line. Each of the pre-connects can hold upwards of 400 feet of two and a half inch hose on the right side, on the left, and on the inner bed. They've got dead lays for additional hose. We've got 1,000 feet of five inch. We've got 250 feet of inch three quarter. And we've got about 600 to maybe 800 feet capability of an additional dead lay of two and a half inch hose. Very well done, very maintainable, very easy to deploy.
One of the primary functions of this rescue pumper, Squad 66, is the vehicle extrication compartment. Stored within this compartment is their HRT, hydraulic rescue tools, their rams, and a unique function is how they've designed this compartment. They've customized the compartment by recessing the upper shelf and tray in to allow for the reel to be connected to the tool with the door closed, thus saving a lot of time and effort when they have to access the tool and remove it from the compartment. Other things within this compartment is the way that they've tucked the reels up high. The hose reels are provided with a unique roller system that allows for the roller to come out of the compartment to provide access to the rear, to the front, and straight out, eliminating wear and tear on the hose itself. With the roller in its deployed position, I can easily reach down, open up the lower slide tray, unlatch the tool, grab the tool, I'm in ready position to use the tool. As I put the tool away, we've got some tool mounts that have custom made to fit each individual tool in a position that allows for rapid deployment. So as we put everything back away in its stowed position, let's talk about the compartment in general. Being an HRT compartment, customized shelves and trays, customized tool mounts, customized mounting of the reels, very nicely done reel deployment roller systems. That's excellent placement of tools for quick access, easy deployment, and keep in mind the controls, the power units themselves, are positioned where the dump valves are easily accessible to be used with the tools. On this side as well, we have the two inch receptacle with a rating of 9,000 pound straight pull and 5,000 side to side. The right side wheel wells have been set up for additional storage of SCBA cylinders. And keep in mind, working with the committee at the fire department, these can be set up for individualized storage of other equipment, toolboxes, flares, fire extinguishers, in addition to what you see with the SCBAs. Let's move forward to the over wheel well compartment on the right side. This compartment's been set up for down firefighter operations and also rapid intervention equipment. All bagged, ready to go. Plus, we've got the tilt out and down tray, which allows for some of their portable stretchers, their rope bags, and other miscellaneous equipment to be grabbed and taken away from the truck very quickly. Once again, easy to put back when you're done. Out of the way, ready to go. Moving forward. Taking into mind other rescue operations, they've got their portable jacks, they've got their portable pumps, they've got chainsaw, their partner roof saw, and also they've sectionalized this compartment once again for their unique operations with shelves and a vertical divider. They've also opted for an aluminum rollout pegboard. The pegboard allows for a lot of different small tool mounting, a very custom in operation utilizing some rubber mounts. As you can see, it allows for quick easy access to the smaller equipment that otherwise could be lost in the larger compartmentation. Once you've grabbed the tool, you can put the tool board right away. Once again, highly organized, nicely done, very customizable to unique operations of a fire department. And the lighting on the upper side of the vehicle, we've got rotators at the rear. We also have 120 volt quartz lighting powered by the 120 volt generator system. We also have storage for their PVC hard suction tubes, once again for drafting operations, pre-connected to the strainer. The right side pump operators panel has a six to five inch stores inlet. It has a four to five inch stores discharge, the large diameter discharge of the vehicle. It has a two and a half inch angled discharge, reduced down to inch and a half. It also has a wafer valve behind the inlet valve to control the operations of the valve itself. This is a manual override for that particular valve. Also has access into the foam shutoff. It also has a tray for 25 feet of soft suction, conveniently carried, quickly accessible, quickly usable. Also on the right side of the vehicle is a way to take care of the maintenance of the inside of the pump. Quickly open up the latches, remove the caps, the panel comes off, and you're inside the pump. As part of their operations 